I know, you want to see the new bedding. Look how cute. My brother-in-law went back to Columbia. He's vacated this room and is now back in Columbia. He left us their bedding because he didn't want to take it back. And so we are left with this. And it actually went pretty well with the purple walls from my mom's room. So I asked my mom if she wanted to modernize and she liked it. So we're going to go with this for a little while. It's super cute. I'm, I really like it. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. So we have paid off three debts so far. We paid off an overdraft for uh, one checking account, an overdraft for a second checking account, and we paid off our largest Navy Federal Credit Union loan, which started out, before we started everything, it started out as like 140,000. Um, we have paid off, I don't even know at this point, like 160, 65, maybe thousand dollars. We have a lot to go. We are absolutely committed to getting out of debt and staying out of debt forever. But we needed to adapt the debt snowball to our life because as you know, I am living with my parents in their house. This is my parents' stuff. And we had intended to move several times actually. Um, we do have a, enough of an income and an overage that we could easily survive, but we wanted to pay off debt more quickly. So what we decided to do is after we have paid off our two smallest debts, we decided to tackle our very largest debt. So we put that one first and then our plan was to go back to the snowball because by moving that one to the beginning, we actually freed up another around $2,600 a month that would go into the snowball, but should we move and need it for expenses, then we would have that available. So it allowed us to potentially stay in the same school district where if we didn't do that, we would have had to move out of this school district because this is a pretty expensive school district. And we love Melina's school and we don't particularly want her to have to leave her school. So our goal was to free up as much cash as possible so we could preferably even stay in this neighborhood. And we have done that now, but we have decided we're not moving. I know it was, it was crazy, but there's multiple factors going into that. And if you didn't see that video, I will link that right up here. So there's just so much going on that we decided it was best if we stay. So now we have to pick our next debt to focus on. So we have five debts of ours left, and then we have two debts that are not ours, but we co-signed on, and those are student loans for my sister-in-law and her husband. And since their income is not going to be such that they will be able to pay a US, a US student loan because those are, for all intents and purposes, the payments are high when you look at foreign income. So we are gonna go ahead and pay off those. But we listened to what y'all had to say and we definitely decided that we are going to hold off on paying those off until the very end because technically they, well, they're, we co-signed on them so they're sort of our debt but not really but yeah so um somebody made the analogy of putting on your oxygen mask first before you help others and so i love that analogy and i thought that was so smart because that is absolutely true we're going to take care of our debt first and then we're going to work on other people's debts so the five debts that we have left are in order from smallest to largest, we have a Visa credit card, which is $9,627. We have a car loan, which is $14,315. We have a personal loan, which is $23,747. We have a USAA loan, which is $48,198. 
And we have Mauricio's school loan, which is $50,119. So all in all totals, you know, 180-ish that we still have left. So if we were doing the snowball, the way that Dave Ramsey recommended, we would start with the visa and then we go to the car loan, then the tax loan, then the USAA loan, and then the school loan. But we are going to continue focusing on paying the debts that free up the most cash. And here's why. Mauricio will likely be going to graduate school very soon. And I know some of you feel like Mauricio should wait until we paid off the debt to go to graduate school. And while I would normally agree in this particular scenario, which I'm not gonna go into on this channel, he really needs to start graduate school sooner rather than later. And yes, graduate school is a requirement. He is looking at studying architecture and you can't get a job in the field anywhere of architecture except for like junior architects and things like that without a degree in architecture. So he would be going to get his master's of architecture for people that don't have an undergraduate in architecture. It is a very, very, very smart thing for him to do for him, for us as a family, it will be a rough couple of years for sure while he's doing it, but we are prioritizing staying out of debt for the long run over getting out of debt faster. So we will be cash flowing graduate school. Over the next year, our plan is to free up as much cash again as possible so we would be in the best possible financial position come next fall when he would actually start graduate school to pay cash for school and to live on our own and not have to worry about anything. Now, whether we're living on our own by that point or not, I don't know. Um, but for now, that's the plan and we want to be prepared. We're looking at the future, at the things coming down the pike, and this is the best for us. So we're doing... I guess, let's call it the anti-snowball. The way we are going to pay off our debt is we are going to pay our largest payments off first and snowball those until we reach our lowest payments. So the way we are gonna do it is we are gonna start with our USAA loan, which has the balance of $48,198. The USAA loan minimum payment is $1,186.60. So if we pay that off in you know six to eight months, however long it takes us to pay the next $48,000 off, that would free up an additional almost $1,200. And immediately after that, we'll pay off the car loan, which is $14,315. And that minimum payment is $465. That car loan should take us maybe two months to pay off, maybe three at the most. And then we will pay off the visa. That will be $9,627 to pay off. And then that is 260 a month. And from that point on, everything is between 100 and $200. So we'll probably pay the tax loan off after that and then the school loan off after that. But we're just going to continue rolling. I'm, we're doing a snowball. You know, now that we've paid off our biggest loan, we're taking that payment and we're going to put it towards the USAA loan for sure. And that will be starting in October. It, it, if you don't remember, I actually took our September snowball and paid off our loan in August. So the amount of money we have going to debt this month is like little teeny, teeny, tiny. I know all of you Dave Ramsey purists are cringing right now, or actually probably clicked off or didn't even click on this video. So I'm probably talking to all people that are like-minded like us. We truly believe that Dave Ramsey's plan is the plan that we're following. We are just making a couple little tweaks to fit our life. And I feel like Dave Ramsey would be proud of us. I don't know that I need his approval, but, but I feel like he would be proud. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.